4th of July 1994. We've managed to find Boulogne Eastern Cemetery quite easily actually, although we had a bit of difficulty, but it weren't, weren't too bad. Janet spotted a sign which pointed, we, we knew what area we were in, Janet spotted a sign which said Boulogne Eastern Cemetery and when we got here we realised that we'd actually passed it earlier on today whilst we had the caravan on the back but we didn't re realise that was Boulogne Eastern Cemetery anyway we've managed to find it now and we found the row and the plot number very easily but the grave number 192 proved much more difficult and we've virtually read the name on every grave of plot 8 row I and right at the last minute as we were starting to get a bit despondent Janet started jumping up and down I found it, I found it and anyway, I'm going to take you through here and show you as you come in through the gates there's sort of describe it as a porchway entrance area with a visitors book in which gives you all the details there's a visitors book there to sign Janet's found the uh, the listing of it don't know whether you can read it do you want to just bring it out into the light, love? I don't know if I can get a focus on this or not. Very difficult. Can you put your finger somewhere near? Macau no. Private Peter, 266562, 1st to the 6th Battalion, Duke of Wellington's Regiment. Died of wounds, 14th of April, 1918, aged 24. Son of Thomas and Mary Ann McCann of Yeadon, Leeds. I'm just going to switch this camera off for a minute and try it on the macro focus on the lens, see if we can get in there, just a minute. Just can't get a focus at all. Nothing. Macro. I had it then. Ah, I think. Right, can you see it there? You see. I hope this comes out on film as clearly as as it is doing now, because that's that's pretty good, is that? Yeah, you got that. Right, love, do you want to take it over there and sign visitors book? Mm -hmm. That's our moniker in there. It's quite interesting. We haven't a right lot of time and it's getting very late. It's actually 9.30 at night and it's quite cold. So we haven't a right lot of time, but I'd like to spend some time reading through that book because there are signatures of people there from... Calgary and Canada, all over the place. What shall I put? See, we just put what we've come to see. Well, yeah, you'll have to say who he is and who we are. Right, we've signed the visitor's book, found the entry. We have actually cheated a bit here because we found the grave 
about 20 minutes ago, so we're just uh, doing an action replay now for the benefit of the camera. If you do come in, you come through the cemetery gates and walk straight up this path here, past this cenotaph on the right hand side, and then it is quite easy to find. All the ends of the grave rows are numbered. Um, numbered and lettered. Obviously we know what we're looking for. Plot 8, row I. It's from there on it gets difficult, but uh, we'll come to that. And uh, It's actually counted. When you find plot 8, row I, Walk along and count 60, the, the, the graves are in rows of three, or the, the small headstones are in rows of three. Count 16 rows along and you'll find it. Right, you've walked up there, the cenotaph there is on the right hand side. So turn left, walk up to these three shallow steps. There's a big plaque that says, their name liveth forevermore. And then take a right straight along and it's the end row alongside a low grain yew hedge. From here count 16 rows I think it is. It's the bottom one. There we are. We'll see if we can uh, focus in on this. Try. I think I'm going to have to switch onto this macro again. Is that number 206, love? 206562. 206562. Oh, no, sorry, no. 266. Oh, 266562. Two, 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 two